Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, it's been a while I haven't updated, put an update or anything on the channel. Um, currently right now, I buy 98F150 as a project. I'm going to be using this one so when I finish the grammar keys I could tow it to the drag strip. Uh, so it's basically a 4.2 V6. Um, it has a few issues such as the IMRC or IRMC. Intake runner, uh, the valves back here. I think it's IMRC. I'll put it on the video. Uh, one of the valves were, were gone. Plastic was shot, and then two of the coolant passages were a little bit rusted out. So instead of spending 340 bucks on a brand new intake, or 300 bucks, I'm basically spending 30 bucks on just trying to fix it first and. Basically, this will be a video to see if it works or not. So basically, uh, the grammar keys are still on, in progress. I haven't done any videos. Um, I have the videos, just haven't gotten around to uh, editing them. There will probably be more upcoming videos on me. I just haven't had the time to actually work on them due to work and school. But I will be continuing. I mean, the project's still going. So I'm going to pause here. And I'll show you once I already uh, installed the two pipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of JB Weld. Um, e even though this is pressed in, I really don't want it to be leaking out. So I'm just going to uh, a little bit of sandpaper here, JB Weld, and pressed in. And then the other one I have it around here, but it's something like this. Okay, so I already replaced the first one. It came out a little bit short. Then again, this was like, I think, one and three cores of a length. So, I mean, if anyone needs this, I'll put a description to the product on the link below. This was about seven bucks. This one's 20, and the part number is KM4528. So, basically, what I'm doing is spraying a little bit of JB Weld, where it's going to go here. Because the previous owner somehow did threads. I mean, it'll still it'll still work. But the main idea is to get is to get the JB Weld to actually stick there. Um, here, I just did the JB Weld again, um, but this one's still pressed in. So now what I'm going to do is install this one like so, and then use a I think it's a 60 millimeter. To actually hit it so it could go down. So I'll show you once it's installed. Yeah. Okay, so the tube I was able to install. Um, one thing to know is that initially it will bring it down enough, but then, I don't know if you can see there, it crashed, it hits the intake. So at that point, what I did was I put it like at an angle and I hit it from here. So I could at least drive this down um, into the intake. So then I went this route because this was I think 30 bucks or 30 or 40 with the JB Weld versus 340, 322 plus taxes on the new intake. Um, makes sense to actually fix this one. So then now what I have to do is change the bushings that go here. As you can see, one's non existent. The other one I removed it. Um, before recording but those things are only like four bucks like for a pack of eight so then yeah um, what I'm going to do is install this onto a truck um, I'm assuming whether I want to record it or not I mean it's not really the difficult you're going to have a few bolts on this side and on the other side also I mean, this is for anyone with a 90, I think 97 to 03, and they're having an issue with um, one of these two tubes leaking. Uh, I mean, this is an option that you could do. It would save you probably about 300 bucks. So, it, I mean, the time I, I mean, this only took me like 20, 30 minutes. So, there might be like this 30 minutes, and you could save 300 bucks. So, that's one way to put it. 
Okay, so right now I just have the intake placed on the engine. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to install, uh, still need the fuel injectors, the IMRC, uh, controllers. Need the... Currently don't have a thermostat because it didn't come with one. But right now I'm just uh, trying to put it back together so I could know what the problem is because it was throwing out gray smoke. So it seems like it was running rich and burning cooling. Um, I think I traced it to the intake for it. So then tomorrow it's basically connect everything, EGR. I'm going to be replacing the valve cover gaskets. So I'm not sure if I might be able to turn it on. Thinking about it right now, but I'm gonna be working on it since the morning. So um, I think I'm going to end the video here today. As you can see, I still need I need to replace this pipe here. Um, it's a little bit crusty. Uh, the car does not have AC. Um, I mean, the guy said I needed some uh, Freon, so it might be that's leaking somewhere where it is. I still don't know, but it's a slow progress. Um, but yes, hopefully tomorrow I already have the intake installed and everything, so I can at least uh, start up to see if it runs good or not. So I'm basically also doing spark plugs on it, which this side's easy. Uh, this side, I, I want to say not so much, but I'll see tomorrow. So, I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, if you like the video, uh, click like, uh, subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to see if I could do more videos, um, but right now I'm in the process of moving out. I need to get this truck running, so it's going to be one of those I'm going to try to, um, but I can't really assure anything. So if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, share. And that's it for today.